Hey guys, this is a video on Dijkstra's shortest path algorithm. So here we have a graph. And what we want to do is we want to show the shortest path or minimum cost from node A to node F. Now there's some conditions that must be met. Uh, one, that I, uh, the graph must be directed or undirected. All edges on the graph are non-negative and the graph is connected. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this to make some room. And then we can get started. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to go from A to F. So our initiative node is A and our destination node is F. So we want to go from A to possibly all these other nodes here. So I'm going to put them down B, C, D, E, and F. Okay, now the initiative node gets a tentative value of zero and all the rest of the nodes get a tentative value of infinity initially. So I'm going to put infinity down for all the other nodes or vertices as you can call them. Also, we're going to have a visited set that's initially empty. Okay, so nothing's in them right now. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at our neighboring nodes. Since our current node is A, which happens to be our initiative node right now, uh, the neighboring nodes are B, C, and D. And we want to see if we can find a lower tentative value. So uh, the tentative value it takes to get from A to B is 0 plus 14. And 14 is an improvement over infinity. So we're going to put 14 here. And that comes from node A. And now the cost it takes to get from A to C is 0 plus 9. 9 is an improvement over infinity as well. So I'll put 9 here. comes from node A. And then the cost it takes to get to D is 0 plus 7. And 7 is an improvement over infinity as well. Or you could say less than infinity. And we are going to uh, put 7 here. And it comes from node A. Now... We look at the smallest tentative value and we're going to visit that node. So the smallest tentative value is 7. I'm going to highlight it here with a square. Spikes around it so we know where we came from. All right. And now we're done visiting A. So we're going to put A in the visited set. And now we want to visit node D. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to look at note D's neighboring nodes, which are A, C, and E. So we cannot visit a node that we've already visited, and that's node A. So we're going to look at vertice uh, node C and vertice node E. Now, uh, what that means is we will just keep all the other values we have and just write them down, except for C and E. because they're the only ones that may or may not change. So F is infinity. We can't get to F, so that's why we keep infinity here. So now let's see the cost it takes to get to C from D. More specifically, from A to D to C. So the cost to get to D was 7 previously. So that's 7 plus 10, that gives us 17. And 17 is greater than 9. So we do not take that value, and instead we keep the value 9. And now E, the cost it takes to get from A to D was 7 here, and now to E is 15, so the 7 plus 15, that's 22, and 22 is an improvement over infinity, so we say that value is 22, and it comes from node D. Okay? So now what we do is we check our uh, least tentative value of unvisited nodes. So the least tentative value is 9, and that's node C. So I'm going to just put a little square around it and swiggly lines to show where we came from. And now I'm going to add node D to our visit set.
Okay, so now we're going to visit node C. And we look at the neighboring nodes of C, which are A, D, E, and B. Um, we've already visited A and D, so we're going to look at B and E. So everything else we can copy down. And again, we can't get to F from C, so it's still infinity. Now, the cost it takes to get to node B from C is the cost that it took to get to C. So the cost that it took to get to C was 9 from A. So that's A to C is 9, plus 2 is 11 to B. And 11 is less than 14, so we're going to take that new value uh, because it's smaller than our previous value or less than. So I'm going to put 11 here now. And this comes from node C. And now the cost it takes to get from C to E is the cost it took to get from A to C plus the cost to get from C to E. So that's 9 plus 11. That's 20. Uh, 20 is also less than 22. So we're going to take that new value as well. And so now the value here becomes 20 from C. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at our look at our unvisited nodes and look at the smallest tentative value, which is 11. And I'm going to put squiggly lines again over it to show where we came from. our next step and we mark C as visited and now we go and we visit our new node uh, node B okay so now we're at node B we look at its neighboring nodes which are a C and F but we already visited A and C, so we're going to look at F. So we can copy down everything else. Seven A. Uh, we cannot get from B to E directly, so we also keep that value. And note F. So now the cost it took us to get to note B was the cost it took us to get from A to C to B, which is 11. And so it's going to be 11 plus 9. So A to C to B to F is 11 plus 9, which is 20. Put a 20 here. And it comes from note B. And now we uh, need to take the smallest tentative uh, value here. And you can see that they're the same, 20. So we're just going to choose one. I choose F. That's our destination node. Put a little sweep the lines over it. And now we have visited node B. And we're going to put node B here and be visited set. Okay, so now we need to visit node F. I'm going to put that down here. I hope you guys can see it well. Now node F, we look at its visited, um, its neighboring nodes, which are B and E. We've already visited A, D, C, and B, so B is in our visited set. So we can't visit B again, so we can only visit E. So we can copy down everything else um, but E. So we have 11C, uh, 9A, 7A, twenty B. And now uh, the cost to get to E is um, the cost to get to F, which is 
20 from A to C to B to F plus 6, the cost to get to E. So that's 26. And 26 is uh, greater than 20, so we keep that value there. Now we choose our least tentative uh, value, which is 20. And it's also the only one that's unvisited. And mark it. And now we mark F as visited. And the algorithm is done there. Once we visited that last node. And now we can see our path. And um, our smallest path is from, since we're only going to F, uh, we have F here, and that came from B. And let's see, B came from up here, B. So that came from C. And C came from, that well, looks like A. And then A is our initi uh, initiative node. So that's our path in reverse. So our path that we chose is the shortest path is A, C, B, F. And our cost is 20. So the minimum cost equals 20. So this is the answer. Thank you guys. Uh, please subscribe, uh, leave comments, questions, and I'll see y'all in the next video.